Hey everyone, my name is Wiffin and welcome to something I haven't done in quite a while and that's a Minecraft snapshot update. Today is snapshot 14w27a and it's being dubbed by a lot of people on Twitter as the bunny update and here's what you need to know about it. It adds a total of six naturally spawning rabbits including white, black, brown, gold, black and white and salt and pepper. There is also another rabbit which can only be seen if named Toast. Toast was a rabbit that recently died and was put in the game as a memorial for its owner, XYZNTV. I'm not entirely sure if this was a Minecraft developer or just someone who happened to know Brian Holtz, who is the person who developed these rabbits. These rabbits, when spawned or naturally occurring, are scared of you and will try to run away. To tame them, you need to right click with either a dandelion, carrot or golden carrot. Hold these in front of you and they will slowly start to come forward. This is the same process as taming an ocelot. These will follow, jump around and also teleport to you just like any of our tamed Minecraft mob. There's also a new boss within this snapshot and that is the Killer Rabbit of Karnabog which is terribly hard to pronounce. This rabbit has a 1 in 1000 chance of spawning but can be spawned using the following command. Its texture is a normal white rabbit with red eyes and will actually come towards you rather than run away. The killer rabbit deals 4 hearts of damage per attack so be sure to take it down fast. Death to any of these rabbits can cause a ton of awesome new items which can be used in a variety of ways. Raw rabbit is dropped upon death and can be cooked to produce cooked rabbit. This heals 5 hunger points. This cooked rabbit can then be placed in a new recipe to make some mouth watering rabbit stew. To craft rabbit stew you need a potato, mushroom, carrot and cooked rabbit. Place it in the following formula and enjoy. Bon appétit! A rabbit foot can be randomly dropped which can be used to produce a new potion. To craft this new potion of leaping, you will need to place a water bottle in a brewing stand and add a nether wart. Once done, add the rabbit's foot to produce the leaping potion. This allows you to jump incredibly high and make yourself feel a little bit more fluffy. The last item that these new rabbits drop is rabbit hide which can be placed in a crafting bench and can produce normal leather. Sheep can now also drop raw mutton which can be cooked. And finally we end off with the biggest and most shocking part of this whole entire update. Rabbits can now eat planted carrots. 